Here's what the Clinton camp is actually concerned about. It's not Jeb Bush right now. It's the gray lady herself with all the scoops that are fit to sink a campaign, the New York Times. John, on a scale of one to Godzilla, how big a problem is the Times for Hillary Clinton? A little bit less than Godzilla, maybe like King Kong. A pretty big problem, though. You know, we have been great students of the Clintons for a very long time, and the Clintons and the New York Times have had a historic nemesis-like relationship going all the way back, as you pointed out earlier today, to Jeff Girth and the Whitewater stories. You know, back in, in the last time Hillary ran for president, there was a huge blow-up over a story that Pat Healy wrote about the Clintons' personal life. They won that battle with the New York Times because there was a big reader backlash about the insinuations in that story. But they... They do not trust the New York Times. They think the New York Times is out to get them. And there's evidence that the New York Times is going to put a lot of reporters on this story to demonstrate that it's not a liberal newspaper, and that's a big problem for her. Investigative reporters, the op-ed page, certain columnists. Look, I don't know. You, that, don't, mean, I don't, you don't mean more endowed. I don't, I don't, you don't know, mean I don't more endowed. I don't know that endowed. they're doing it to try to prove they're not liberal. I just know that it, there's an irony that the Republicans' best friends since the Clintons became oh. national figures have been this investigative pieces. When the Times writes an investigative piece about the Clintons, it harkens back to the age when I started out in this business and you did, where a front-page New York Times story drove an entire news cycle. Right. She's lucky the Netanyahu speech was today because this thing drove a lot of news and will continue to. The Times story is imperfect. There are, there are things in the Times story, if they're not flat out wrong, are really really misleading and unfair to the Clintons. They're right to be mad. This is now their hometown paper, and they are, they are, they are in big trouble because no paper will be more aggressive on the Clintons than the one with the country's biggest ma uh, a megaphone, the New York Times. And there has been no paper historically that has done more stuff on them. You can think of someone like Michael Isikoff, who's covered them very, very tough way. But as an institution, no one has been tougher on the Clintons, and no one seems more intent on being tough about the Clintons and, going and forward. And today proves they don't have a solution. 100% correct.